Jalen, you got your first start, and how did you try to react to that? Because you looked like you were ready to defend and shoot the three. You play like a man. <laughs> Uh, at first, when Coach first told me, uh, first told me in practice, I was kind of uh, nerve wracking. And then, as the day was going on, I just calmed down and decided to play defense. What do you think you did that earned you to start? Uh, I really so don't. I you really rebound don't. that ball and you play defense. There you go. Yeah, I guess that. Rebound the ball and play defense. <laughs> was when was it that you found out? Then today, yesterday, yeah, today, today uh, after shooting around. And Coach didn't give you an explanation. Uh, no, not really. Threw him in the wildfire. Handle it like a man. All right, so first start, how do you handle your nerves going into that? Uh, the whole day I was just listening to music, to be honest. And then I took me a little nap, woke up, and I was feeling perfectly fine. Against Monroe the other night, you guys trailed for much of the game, fought your way back, got the win. Today you got a fast start and led the whole way. What was different tonight? I think it was just the energy that we brought. Um, the last game we did lack a lot of energy coming out to start, so this game we made sure that we were amped up and ready to go from the get-go. Coming off the bench for you, Michael, like something that you could really like just watch the game unfold and then jump right in and really provide a spark? Yeah, for me, uh, knowing that I had an ankle injury and then getting my rhythm back, it was just providing an energy spark for the team, and that's something that's that's perfectly my role, and that's fine what I'm doing. So, you know, it's just the energy spark. <laughs> With the dunks you had tonight, I'm guessing the ankle's feeling better? Oh, I felt young today. I felt young, young again today. He told me I had young legs, so I was like, you know, I had to do something. Well, you know. <laughs> was this your, not just you two, but as a team, your best passing game of the year? At one point, you had like 20 assists on 26 field goals or something like that? I would definitely say yeah. so. That's that's one thing that we've been holding on, uh, ball movement. So today we just executed a lot of our plays and, and got a lot of great shots, got a lot of our teammates great shots. Were the coaches asking you to do something different in that regard or just refining what they've already been telling you? Just refining what they've already been telling us, really. Well, yeah, just based off that, uh, we did a lot, we forced a lot, which caused a lot of our turnovers, just one-on-one. -on -one. So playing as a team opened up a lot of gas for us, a lot of shots for us, so that's really helped us a lot. What were you guys focused on defensively coming into this one? Um, the, the, the keys we've been focused on, holding teams to the 30% lower uh, last few turnovers and out-rebounding teams, uh, that's really going to give us the edge to win a lot of our games. Because we're, we're, we're a very talented team, but we just have to play hard and work hard. Jalen, was there anything specific about this game that you had to watch out for on their side? Uh, coach uh, said a key matchup was uh, number 13. He said uh, he takes like twice possession, more possession than anyone on the team. So that's pretty much it. Nice answer. <laughs> Coaches talk about freshmen taking a minute to get ready on, to work their way in on the defensive end. And you've got two freshman guards with some size who perform pretty well on the defensive end. Have you see, been surprised by anything that he and Jerk have done for you? I haven't been surprised. They've been doing it all in practice, but, you know, they just had to come out and show the world. It took them a, a, a while to get their foot in the door, but, you know, they're honing in on the opportunity. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so for you, going against him and Kendrick and Zach and the rest in practice, what has that done for your confidence carrying over into games? Uh, it built a lot of confidence. Uh, trying to guard, trying to guard him was uh, hard at first, but as I like settled in, it got more comfortable. He's lying. No, That's I'm telling you. I'm, I'm lying. telling you, it got more comfortable. Whatever. Who's the toughest one to guard in practice? And because he likes to get downhill a lot. That's about it. They call me Michael Westbrook. <laughs>